the future of European champions Chelsea is uncertain after sanctions were placed on Russian owner Roman Abramovich on Thursday. The billionaire has been in charge since 2003, but had his attempts to sell the club halted by the UK government, which has frozen his assets. Abramovich was sanctioned by the UK government as part of its response to Russia's invasion of Ukraine. The government believes the billionaire has had a close relationship for decades with Russia's President Vladimir Putin, which Abramovich has always denied. Like the rest of his assets, Chelsea would have been frozen, but a special license granted by the government allows the Stamford Bridge Club to keep operating for the rest of the season. Season ticket holders will still be able to attend games at Stamford Bridge as normal, while match tickets sold before 10 March will be honored. But beyond that, supporters cannot buy any new tickets to watch Chelsea. Tickets were due to go on sale for the FA Cup quarter-final tie at Middlesbrough on 19 March, but a post on the club's official website on Thursday confirmed that would no longer happen as planned. The club is also unable to sell any merchandise, with the club shop at Stamford Bridge closing on Thursday morning. The government special license allows Chelsea to pay the wages of all employees, including players and coaching staff. The license is in place until 31 May, so covers the Blues for the rest of the season, and the Treasury has the right to vary, revoke or suspend it at any time. While the sanctions are in place, Chelsea are effectively under a transfer ban and are unable to buy or sell players. They are also unable to negotiate new contracts for the players they currently own, so leaves an uncertain future for those whose current deals expire in the summer. That applies to Antonio Rudiger, Cesar Azpilicueta, and Andreas Christensen, although the latter two have been linked with a move to Barcelona. Rudiger was believed to be close to a new deal, but current developments leave the defender in a limbo situation. The government has set a limit of £20,000 per team per match for travel to and from matches. BBC Sport understands the club considers the £20,000 cap to be too low to allow it to operate normally, and this is a pressing matter given next week, the men's team travel to Lille in the Champions League. Within hours of the announcement that Abramovich had been sanctioned by the UK government, Chelsea main shirt sponsors suspended their £40 million a year deal with the club. Mobile network provider 3 had been Chelsea's official partner since 2020. It is unclear whether any of Chelsea's other sponsorship deals are at risk at this stage. In 2016, the London club signed a new kit deal with US sportswear giant Nike. At the time it was reported to be worth £60 million a season for the next 15 years, but the club did not confirm any cash figures. In May 2021, Chelsea named global hotel search platform Trivago as the club's official training wear partner in a multi-year partnership. Chelsea also have a number of other official partners. Chelsea were put up for sale on 2 March, and there are understood to be plenty of interested parties, despite Abramovich being sanctioned. The UK government is open to considering a further addition to the special license to allow a sale to proceed. Those working on the deal on behalf of Abramovich were always told that proceeds from the sale would go to a fund for victims of the war in Ukraine. This was made clear when Abramovich put the club up for sale last week. It is understood that the £1.5 billion loan from Abramovich will not be deducted from the price. Abramovich had instructed American investment firm Rain Group to seek £3 billion for the club, but finance experts believe that an already inflated price could drop further, given the current uncertainty around Chelsea. Rain Group has temporarily halted the sale process while it seeks answers from the government. How quickly the club can be sold once a buyer has been found depends on the government receiving assurances that the proceeds would not go to Abramovich, but securing those assurances could take time. For more Premier League news subscribe to our channel.